So, you want to hire a DJ. Well, there are a few ways to approach this. One of the ways is that you can make a list of all the things you need for your event. Sadly, a lot of people put DJ at the very end of their list. Ah shit, we forgot to book a DJ. You got all the other crap you need, but at this point, you have a very small budget for entertainment. From there, those people go around looking for a DJ, they'll call some respectable, decent DJs, and they'll ask them if they can do it for 50 bucks and free food. But you get all the tacos you want, and you can have beer too. <laughs> Hiring a DJ should be towards the top of your list, right there with alcohol. And if your party doesn't have alcohol, then your party's gonna suck anyway. Nobody really gives a shit about what flavor cake you get or if the buns for the burgers have sesame seeds or not. Nobody cares because it's free. It's free food. And if people are really going to complain about free food, then those people are assholes anyway. Nobody really cares about the centerpieces. They'll look at them. They'll say, oh, those are nice or oh, those are hideous. And the more ghetto people will probably steal them. Again, no one cares about decorations or the food. I can't tell you how many times I've been to the party where people say, Yeah, it was cool, but the DJ was terrible. Terrible, terrible. Charles Barkley goes to a lot of parties, apparently. So don't be that person. Prioritize the DJ because a good DJ is what keeps the party going. They create the mood, the ambiance for your event. Otherwise, people are just going to eat and bounce. Thanks for the free food, jackass. See ya. So what is a good DJ? Well, a good DJ has decent equipment. I'm talking speakers, some lights, a microphone, and a decent top setup, which is either turntables, CDJs, or a high-end controller. And more importantly, he or she has to know how to use it. If a person doesn't know how to mix, blend, scratch, or properly transition between songs, then they are not a real DJ. Not in my book. Don't get that Mexican guy who has a shitload of speakers, but he's playing music off a fucking iPod. And before anyone gets mad at me, I am of Mexican descent myself, so calm your tits. But you've seen these guys, they'll play the entire song, and then they'll stop, and then they play another. And they don't mix the songs, ever. It's all about creating a smooth flow in between songs. If you just start and stop, it just doesn't work. And don't get the guy that train wrecks either. You know the guy that train wrecks. It sounds a little like this. And those fuckers are just nodding their head with their headphones on as if they're doing something spectacular. No, just stop. Get someone that knows what they're doing. So there you have it. If you're throwing an event, prioritize the DJ know what a good DJ is, and learn to appreciate quality. Otherwise, this guy is going to DJ your event.